So let's look at the problem of multi-core and many-core power and performance. The problem is this. We have one core. Let's say it can spend 100 watts, which is the power budget for the entire chip. And that power of the one core is really some sort of a constant times the voltage squared times the frequency of the core. Let's say that we get 100 watts consumption when we set the voltage and the frequency such that we can operate at 3.8 gigahertz. Now let's say that we get two cores. In that case, each gets half the power budget of the chip. The per core power in the two core case is one half of the single core's power. So we need to reduce the voltage and frequency such that we get one half of the power. Remember that voltage can be reduced in proportion to frequency. So the frequency at which we can run a core in a two core system is going to be cubic root of one half times the frequency at which we can operate a single core in a single core system, which is this frequency. And that ends up being 0.8 approximately times F1 or three gigahertz. So as you can see, if we now use only one of these cores, we get to run it at 3 gigahertz as opposed to 3.8 gigahertz that we could get here. So this is noticeably slower.